Is everybody okay? Yeah, absolutely, sir. Okay, who's in which car? Over here. Okay, give me a fair. Just pull into the parking lot a, l yeah, a bit more for me. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. No, no, you're fine. What's your name? Officer Poon. Yeah, yeah. Just pull, yeah, pull right in the, uh, the parking lot. The man we just saw talking to this police officer is Jerry Scanlon, the chairman of the Sussex County, New Jersey Republican Party. What happened? I'm not, not absolutely sure. I'm not, I'm not, I have no, sh I'm not sure. Where are you coming from? The VW. Okay. How much you have to drink down there? One. One what? One drink. What'd you have? Beer? Next yeah. drink? One, 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 one drink. Would it be in that black book right there? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's fine. Right. You don't need to apologize to me. I'm just trying to help. That's all. No, but I'm also not trying to be a jerk, right? You're not. I don't believe you're. There it is. It's right there. Just from what we've seen so far, there's no way Scanlon should be driving, really showing that he's the perfect fit for the party of family values. You rear-ended them, I'm assuming? You kind of just bumped into them? I don't think... Okay. I really don't think so. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. Well, as long as you're okay, right? I'm sorry. Okay, you can hold on to that. You said you had one drink, right? Yep. Okay, what was that? What was it? Um, I, I, you don't remember? Okay. And where are you heading to now? Home. Home? Okay. I'd like to go home. It's crazy. Like I said, I want to put you through a series of field sobriety tests to determine your ability to operate a motor vehicle safely. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can smell alcohol coming off your breath. Absolutely. Okay. You're stuttering your words. You're kind of a little uneasy on your feet. You're all over the place and you're fumbling all over the place too. Okay. That's the only reason why my suspicion is raised, and I just want to put you through a series of tests to determine that you're okay to drive. Okay, right, sir? 100%. Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. I'm not trying to be mean. I never, I never said you were trying to be mean. No, I never said, I, I, absolutely, you never said absolutely. any of that. I, I don't want to be weird. I don't want to be weird. Just, just, just follow the tip of my pen with your eyes. You All don't right. have to move your head. Okay. Okay? You're not understanding what I'm saying. So we're not, we're, we're going to finish that test. I'm just going to start. I'm 100% believe you. After participating in more field sobriety tests and predictably failing them, Scanlon is arrested for driving while intoxicated by Sparta police in New Jersey. Scanlon is due in court in June of this year. According to reporting from the New Jersey Herald, Scanlon has been head of the Sussex County GOP since 2015. And this isn't the first time he's been in hot water while at the helm. Back in 2019, the NJ Herald reported Scanlon ran an anti-Islam hate account on Twitter that openly targeted Muslims, like Representative Ilhan Omar and Representative Rashida Tlaib, fully leaning into Trump's anti-Muslim rhetoric while also sharing hateful tweets about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ayanna Presley claiming all four support radical policies. The Sussex County Democratic Committee condemned the posts, as they should. Police reports from this incident claim that Scanlon's BAC was almost double the legal limit in New Jersey at the time of his arrest, and he now faces up to 30 days in jail, although we know that's unlikely, as well as license suspensions, and the installation of an ignition-locking device. Scanlon is also facing charges of reckless and careless driving for rear-ending another person's car, which prompted the arrest. As of the recording of this video, the Sussex County GOP's website, which looks like it hasn't been updated since 06, still lists Scanlon as chairman, and given his past actions, it's not a stretch to think he'll keep his position as many powerful people do when they should be held accountable for their actions, especially those with political power and clout that directly affect people's livelihoods. Let's be clear about this. We've seen too many videos now with too many examples of too many people in positions of power not being held accountable. This could be corrupt police. This could be corrupt politicians. This could be athletes at the highest level. It doesn't matter who it is. If it is somewhat of influence, it is very clearly a different game that is being played. There is a double standard here between anyone who is with the public 
who is not in a position of power or influence, and those who are. Do I think anything will happen to Jerry Scanlon? No, I don't. And that is because the history of being let down, the history of expectations not being met, where it is the simplest laws being abided by, and if those are broken, then someone pays the price, likely the offender. So we'll keep an eye on it, but uh, Mr. Scanlon, do I think anything's going to happen? No. Uh, 